ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and any Daleks that may be watching this video, my little Dalek master plan, Pyro Flame Army Dalek collection. A little bit of Dalek surgery, never hurt no one. Welcome to another episode of me recollecting my classic Doctor Who action figures and this is a big unboxing video to be fair as well so best of both worlds here. So before we go ahead and see what's inside all these boxes I just wanted to say a massive thank you to my good friend Luke who is somebody I met on YouTube quite a few years ago and he's been a subscriber, a viewer, a friend for a long time and he basically hooked me up with the contents of this video so thank you very much for that mate really appreciate it and let's just crack on with the video okay so there are three boxes here as you can see we will start off with the smallest box and work our way up to the big one so without further ado let's do it okay so we're going to start off with this package here which is to be fair not that small it's it's quite big there's uh, hopefully going to be quite a few action figures inside this package so let's have a look Okay, so we've uh, discovered there's a shoebox underneath the brown paper, which I actually almost said it's gonna be a shoebox because it's the right sort of size for one, but I didn't uh, didn't get there in time. So let's open this Kappa shoebox and see what's inside. Well, hey, right then. So straight away, I've noticed some figures that I think may have been included for free. So um, I've got a Corgi Dalek and a Corgi Cyberman. And I'll tell you what, the detailing on this uh, Cyberman is, well, Check it out for yourselves, it's fantastic. So um, really, really do appreciate that. A fine addition to the collection. Thank you very much, dude. Okay, so first things first, I've actually found a Zygon Scarrison control unit for, uh, for Broton. So um, I'm, glad I've, uh, <laughs> I'm glad I've found that one at the top so I haven't lost that bit. So I'll leave that there for now. Please keep an eye on it. If it moves, then send me a comment and tell me it's fallen on the floor. <laughs> right, so. Keeping in uh, in line with the Zygons, the very first figure up that I will be opening is, whoops, that was quite incredible, is uh, none other than Broton himself. There we go, Zygon from Wave 1. Fantastic looking figure. I've already got uh, one of these figures, so it'd be nice to kind of have a bit of an army building uh, session going on with the Zygons, which were one of my favorite, and still are, one of my favorite enemies of the uh, classic series of uh, Doctor Who. So, excellent, Broton. Put all the bubble wrap down there. I must say the um, the packaging on this uh, whole box has been amazing so far, so that's really really good. We've got the fifth Doctor. There he is. This is the regenerated version, the version that came as a single release, I believe, um, as the figure that came with the Masters Column Tardis didn't have the jacket, and I actually prefer this version of the regenerated Doctor. Um, it just really does make it look better I think and if you look at the back here the jacket has even got the dirt from where the, the poor fourth doctor fell to well his death basically so there is the fifth doctor regenerated and then we have a fantastic Cyberman from Revenge of the Cybermen now I've got this set already and I was looking at army building these Revenge Cybermen so this is fantastic I've now got the Cyber Leader along with uh, three of these uh, kind of drone type Cybermen and again this is one of my particular favorite Cybermen designs simply because it's so out there I mean it's totally 1970s with the flares and I've always been a big fan of that story anyway uh, who doesn't like gold hey eh? so Revenge of the Cyberman then we've got the sixth doctor here he is and I believe this is the sixth doctor from the 11 doctors box set it does get very confusing with all the different variants so correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure He's from the Eleven Doctors box set. There we go. And then we've got a lovely Tenth Planet Cyberman. There he is in all his glory. These Cybermen are simply brilliant. Uh, the whole idea of the Mondasian Cybermen is just, it's just out there. It's amazing. And to be honest, one of the best designs of a Cyberman. Definitely the scariest design of a Cyberman, that's for sure. And then we've got a fourth Doctor figure, and I'll just release him from the bubble wrap. Let's 
take a look at him there. There he is, that is the fourth Doctor there. Another fantastic addition to the collection. This one comes from the, uh, well, it looks like the costume he wore in the Seeds of Doom. So uh, I'll hazard a guess and say this came with the Seeds of Doom set. Again, like I said, I'm, I'm not a fantastic variant master when it comes to all the uh, Doctor's costumes. So I'm pretty sure this is the Seeds of Doom variant uh, that came out, well, quite some years ago now. Then we have a marvellous Vok robot. This is number V4. Now, this Vok robot is from Wave 2, and it's got a little red light there, but you can shine some uh, shine some light on him, and his red eyes glow. So he's the evil Vok that character options released for Wave 2. Another fantastic addition. I'm slowly but surely building up my Vok robot army. Then we have, and this is something that I'm really excited about, we have the Master. Portrayed here by Anthony Ainley, and this came with the fifth Doctor, Peter Davison, in a twin pack, which is a set that I've actually, like, literally not even been able to track down in its packaging yet. And to have it opened in such mint condition is an absolute dream come true. Now, if I'm not much mistaken, the next figure that I'm going to choose is indeed his counterpart, the fifth Doctor, with his uh, lovely hat there, and that completes the set of the fifth Doctor. And master so I'm really really chuffed to bits to have these two back in the collection okay so here we have a new series Cyberman I've actually got quite a few of these uh, building up and to be honest with you I quite like them I might even start a very small army of new series Cybermen and Daleks just simply because the Cybermen and Daleks are pretty awesome let's be honest so that can go there keeping with Cybermen we've got another fantastic addition to the collection and it also comes with his accessory, which I'm really pleased about. This is a Cyberman from none other than Silver Nemesis. Now, this particular Cyberman came with a friend. It came with a Cyber Leader, which unfortunately I haven't got in this, uh, this little collection here. But that doesn't matter because, if anything, this one's more important because this is the one that you intend to use to army build. So when I do get my hands on the set and, and open it, I'll already have Cyber Leader Cyberman Scout with another one. So I'm really, really happy to have this. And like I said, it comes with this little Cyber Blaster as well. I might have already mentioned it, but all these figures have so far, and I'm sure they all will, come in fantastic condition. It's as if I've just taken them out of the packaging um, for the first time. So I'm really pleased about that. Nothing worse than buying figures and deciding that they're, you know, not in great shape. Here we have the third Doctor. Now I believe this is from the 11 Doctor's box set. Comes with his Sonic Screwdriver as well. Lovely addition there. A fantastic likeness to Jean Bertouille. Uh, really, really glad to have this back in the collection. I actually haven't got many third Doctor variants in the collection at the moment, so it's fantastic to, you know, have this one sat proudly on the shelf. Coming back to the Robots of Death, we have another Vok robot. This time is SV7. There we go. Now, I do already have this particular figure, but the plan is to have some counterparts. So basically have you know, you can have SV7, why can't you have an SV6? So there's no uh, there's no reason why you can't have more than one Super Vok robot. So uh, the, the army continues to grow with the old Vok robots, which I'm really, really happy about. This box still isn't empty. We've still got two figures. Figure number one is a fantastic Sea Devil from Wave 1, the very original first set that was released. I do love the Sea Devils. It comes with his little gun there as well, which you can place in his hand. And guess what? He doesn't come alone. He comes with a twin, a cousin, a brother, sister, I don't know. He comes with another, let's get him out of here, he's tucked in there well, another sea devil. Look. So stand those both side by side, fantastic sea devils. Again, this is fantastic for army building. I've got several of these sea devils now and they just look fantastic on the shelf. So awesome, awesome stuff. Now. That is the box empty, so box number one is done, and I'll be honest with you, I feel like at the moment, I chose the best box first. So many good figures have just come out of this package, I can't actually believe it. But uh, yeah, so again, I'm gonna keep saying it. Thank you very much, Luke, for uh, making this video possible. You're an absolute diamond geezer. Okay, so now we move on to this box here, which is slightly bigger than the other box, but uh, in, in length anyways, but uh, not in depth. So who knows what lurks around the corner? I don't know why I said that, that makes no sense whatsoever. But anyway, let's just crack on and have a little look. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll throw in uh, Doctor Who catchphrases every now and again and see if anyone 
spots them and comment down below what a, what a story that came from. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> right, anyway, let's get rid of all this paper. Okay, so I'm about to reveal what is inside the second box in this video. Here we go. More bubble wrap, which is always a good thing to see. In fact, tons of bubble wrap, which is uh, fantastic. Oh, we've actually reached and hit the jackpot in this video. You're not going to believe what is inside this one. If I just hide all this bubble wrap, we have got some amazing, amazing pieces in here. First of all, we have the Dalek from Death to the Daleks. Let's just uh, straighten up his uh, gun and plunger and eye. There he is. This is the Dalek from the very rare and exclusive Third Doctor and Dalek set. You can tell this by the fact that the uh, Dalek here has the uh, machine gun exterminating gun, which actually I really thought was quite incredible when I first saw that as a uh, as a kid. And let's be honest, this is the first story I ever saw of Doctor Who, Death to the Daleks, and I just thought that's how they rolled. They just went around shooting people with machine guns. It was uh, pretty awesome, to be fair. So really, really happy to have this in the collection. You'll notice that this one has orange lights as well, which uh, just makes the Dalek stand out even more. And quite honestly, is probably going to be my favourite Dalek of the collection. Fantastic. So, keeping with Daleks, we've got the Supreme Dalek here from uh, Frontier in Space. And this Dalek was part of the Dalek Collector set number two that was issued uh, quite a few years ago now. So it's nice to have this Dalek in the collection. A lovely gold kind of Dalek. You can't really go wrong, can you, really? So I'll pop him down here. I'm actually running out of space to put all these things. And now we've got the Supreme Dalek from a Resurrection of the Daleks. And this Dalek just pops out as an amazing, amazing Dalek. I know I'm saying it about all of them, but the uh, white hemispheres just makes them stand out like incredible. I was always really scared of this Dalek for some reason. Uh, in the story, it just kind of seemed a lot more powerful than, uh, than Daleks ever did. So I guess he is a Supreme Dalek after all. Now, as I said, this is from the Resurrection of the Daleks uh, collection set. And I'm so glad to have this Dalek because one, the sets now, the Dalek sets, are like astronomical in price and I've actually already got the Daleks to come with this set. I didn't have the Supreme Dalek and now I do, so it's absolutely brilliant that I can add this to the collection. And keeping with the uh, Supreme Daleks, we've actually got the Supreme Dalek from Remembrance of the Daleks, the very last Dalek that was seen on our screens and uh, he comes, well, he does come with a nice dog, I'll just pop him in. These Daleks, uh, when they were made, for some reason they always had the ice stalks uh, that were removable, which in a way is quite a good thing because it means they don't snap. So there we have a lovely Supreme Dalek, and like I said, from Remembrance of a Daleks, he will sit very nicely and comfortably with my uh, Imperial Daleks, which uh, obviously were against him, but it will look good on the shelf. Then we have another Dalek, I'll just pop his eye in as well. There we go, a little bit of Dalek surgery, never hurt no one. Now this Dalek, I believe, going by the colour scheme, is also from Resurrection of the Daleks. It's a slightly lighter colour. Um, I'm pretty good with my Dalek, uh, Dalek variants. The uh, darker version was the Revelation of the Daleks Dalek. So he will sit nicely along with his Supreme Leader. There we go, fantastic. We've still got two more, and you can already see them, but just pretend you can't. We have an Imperial Dalek. This is the Necros Dalek from Revelation of the Daleks. There we go. Very, very short eye stalk. I really don't know why they did that. It just makes the Dalek look so kind of um, out of shape. And actually, I've just realized this is actually one of the talking Daleks because there's a there's a button. So this is the, uh, I think it's from Wave 2, uh, the revelation of the Daleks, Necros Dalek. So um, what I will be doing is getting some batteries put in there and we will be uh, using that as a talking Dalek for sound effects uh, purposes. So fantastic to add that to the collection. And finally, something that I'm really hyped about is the fact that I've got my very first Davros in the collection since we've been recollecting this stuff for the last God knows how many months now. Okay, so now this Davros here, I believe is from the Resurrection of a Dalek set. So again, he will sit proudly with uh, the rest of his comrades. So happy to finally get a Davros in the collection. Like I said before, this is the first time I've had Davros in the collection since I've been recollecting it. So um, an absolutely fine addition to my uh, collection without a shadow of a doubt. So uh, again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Thank you very much, buddy, for uh, making this video possible. Okay, so that is box number two done. So let's just throw that over here. 
And now we move on to the last box and it kind of, I always get really sad at this part of the video because, you know, it's the last one and after this I've got to sit and edit the video which takes about an hour because I'm so slow at doing it, but I enjoy it, it's all good. Anyway, let's crack on and open this one up. Okay, so literally running out of space on the table, I probably should have cleared it a little bit, but uh, too excited, I just want to get this box open. So, let's have a look what's inside. We've got tons of bubble wrap, which again, I just can't thank you enough for doing. You uh, really have gone to town, which is excellent. First thing I found is Morbius. There he is, I'll just show you here. Morbius from wave two of the uh, Doctor Who uh, waves, I guess. Uh, the last wave that was really released like this. Uh, shame, because they could have done so many more figures, but it's lovely to have Morbius, one of the uh, most iconic Doctor Who villains, I believe, uh, from especially from Tom Baker's era, because he just looks so damn cool. And if you thought I'd finished with the Daleks, you were definitely mistaken, because I have just found another one, and from what I can see, it's the Dalek from Remembrance of the Daleks, I believe. Here we go. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, it does look just like the Daleks that come with the Remembrance of a Dalek set. It's uh, the stripes here, the uh, pattern here is silver and black, so he'll sit nicely with his counterpart, which is over here. So that's another fantastic addition. Unfortunately, as with the Necros Dalek, the eye stalk is just so short. Look at it, it's, um, it's unbelievable. I don't know why they did that. I really, if anyone knows why they went for eye stalks that were like the size of like people's eyelashes or, or whatever just let me know in the comments because it, it bugs me so much it really does so that's fantastic to have that one and well we got a load more Daleks in here of course because I'm a massive Dalek fan and you all know that by now so let's just take the bubble wrap off of this one here we have another source of command Dalek from the collectors Dalek collector set number two should I say there we go another fantastic addition to the collection I've got this one already, but I'm army building, so you know what that means. You've got to have more than one Supreme, because he's got to look after all the, all the non-Supremes, definitely. So that's that one there. Another Dalek to add to the collection is this one here, also from the second Dalek collector set. This is the Evil Dar Dalek from Evil of the Daleks, and it's again in mint condition. It's just fantastic to have such great figures in such great condition. Really, really pleased about that one. Pretty sure I've said that about every single one so far, so that's good. Then we have, and this one's again brilliant. Honestly, I'm sorry if I'm annoying everyone by saying that, but literally, this is the Dalek from the enemies of the first Doctor set, and he just jumped out on me there with the pyro flame. And if any of you remember me doing a video quite recently, I said I wanted one more of these to complete my collection, so I'd have three of these just like there were in the Daleks Master Plan. And guess what? This is the third one in the collection, so we've done it. We've uh, completed my little Dalek Master Plan Pyro Flame Army Dalek collection. So I'm absolutely chuffed to bits about that one. We'll leave him down there. I believe we've got but one more Dalek left to open. So sad times, but don't worry, I've saved the best one to last. And that is the amazing special weapons Dalek. There he is in all his glory. This is the original release. This is the one that was released with the Remembrance of a Dalek set, which I actually don't currently own whatsoever. I can't find it in its box and packaging, and I find it very difficult to find the Daleks loose. So the fact that I've got this one, I've also got the Supreme, there he is, and I've also got the Renegade. I just need to pick up an Imperial Dalek to go with the set to complete the set. Now, I have got the Imperial Daleks that came with the Seventh Doctor, so technically you could say I've completed the set, but officially, I'm still looking for the Imperial Dalek that came with this particular set, which I believe has a small eye stalk. We know how I hate those. To be fair, this one doesn't even have an eye stalk, so maybe I should complain about that, but now nah, this Dalek just looks absolutely amazing. So I need to track down the special weapons sound effects Dalek next uh, to complete my special weapons collection. Right then, so there is but one more item left in this box and I'll be completely honest and completely biased with you. It's the best part of this video, without a doubt. This is something, and I'll say something because it isn't necessarily a character. Um, some could call it a character, perhaps. But this is something that has been so difficult to track down. And I do have it in its packaging at the moment and I kind of am very reluctant to opening it, simply because it's like 
gone for silly money before. So I'm a little bit like, do I open it, do I not? So basically my mate was like, look, I have one of these, are you interested? And I was like, yeah, I totally, totally am. Now I bought half of this set from somebody else and I'll tell you what that was in just a second. So I've actually got this completed set now. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and any Daleks that may be watching this video, let me introduce to you the one and only amazing bubble wrap Sylvester McCoy Seven Doctor TARDIS. I am more than excited to get this one open. I'll be very careful with it because it is a fragile, fragile type 40 after all. But here we go. Oh, it is it feels so good to have this. Honestly, I can't even tell you. Let's just move this box out of here before we uh, run out of space completely. Squeeze it down there and hopefully nothing falls down. I need a bigger room. Right then, so this is the Seventh Doctor's TARDIS. Let me just close the doors. I'm always, always rubbish at doing this. So let's just click that into place. There we go. Seventh Doctor's TARDIS. Now you may be wondering, have you got a Seventh Doctor to go with this Raven? Well, luckily I have, like I mentioned just a minute ago. So I did manage to pick up the Seventh Doctor that goes with this lovely set. And it was a complete coincidence that, uh, well, basically that I came across this as well. So I've now got the completed set of a Seventh Doctor and TARDIS opened and not opened. And I don't know if any of you have seen these before. Um, you probably have, but with this one, you can even open the door here and see the telephone. I am so clumsy with TARDIS, it's ridiculous. There it is, there's the, the telephone inside the TARDIS. So that's fantastic. I'll uh, need to put some batteries in this one to get it to uh, get it to work, um, but that's not an issue. I'm not like crazily bothered about the sound effects of these things. I just want them for display purposes and well, I've got it, I've done it. So let me sort all this out and let's make the outro for this video. Okay, so that is the video, you guys. I literally cannot thank you enough for giving me this opportunity. To my mate Luke that sold me all of his Doctor Who figures. I'm so, so impressed by everything. There's not a single damaged figure. They're all in mint condition as far as I'm concerned. So massive, massive thank you to you, buddy. And any of you out there that are watching this video thinking, ah, oh, maybe I'll sell some figures because I want to get some money or, or whatever, then let me know in the comments because I am more than happy and more than interested to um, see what you've got because, you know, at the end of the day, if you don't want it and it's something that I would like to have, then we can arrange to, you know, do a business. Obviously, I'm not here saying, I want to buy all your Doctor Who figures because if you love them, keep them. But uh, if you no longer want them, I know a good person that does and that's that's me. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all of you that have been watching this series. It's just amazing to me that every time I refresh the page, there's more views, more views, more views, and please just keep it coming because I'm really enjoying making these videos and I will continue to do so. So thanks for watching. I know this video has been probably quite a long one by now, but I hope you've all stuck to the end. So one last time, a massive thank you to Luke for making this video possible. I will see you all again very soon in the next episode of me recollecting my classic Doctor Who figures. Until then, you know exactly what to do, and that is take care of each other. See you later.